Oh, y'all can hear me now. So what I was saying, um, we all feel like our opinion matter. Let's see, why am I? It keep dropping frames. Hold on. So we all feel like our opinion matter when at the end of the day, it don't what matter in life is impact, man. So I feel we got to learn when like tragic situations like this happen to speak with like, um, in a way that's going to impact people, right? It's okay to have an opinion. We all have one. They're like assholes. We all have one, right? But it helps to, First of all, think before you speak. Understand your intention before you speak, right? People are just blaming everybody. You know, it was this person or she did this or it was his fault. He shouldn't have. And we live in America where when things like this happen, this uh, person should have known better. They shouldn't have been out to eat at that restaurant, right? Like we get it. If you from LA, you know. We know these things, right? But it's like that should let you know how messed up the world is. The fact that that is a legitimate argument to have. It is legit to say that certain areas you shouldn't go if you a famous or celebrity or a rapper, if you got money, you shouldn't go there because some misguided individual might try to take something you worked hard for or take something they don't have the power to give back to you, like your life. And the sad part is, like I said on my YouTube video, it's not gonna stop. It's gonna keep happening over and over again. It's not gonna stop. You know, me making this video, going live, ain't gonna stop nothing. Uh, him, other rappers seeing this happen, it's not going to stop them from making the same type of moves, right? Um, the only thing that could change this and prevent this from happening as much in the future is mindset. The mindset needs to change of the individuals who commit these type of uh, that engages in this type of activity. It needs to change the mindset. You know, I was. 12 when I lost a childhood friend to gang violence, right? Um, I started losing people at eight years old. I want to say my earliest, you know, knowledge and convenience at eight, you know, my, my dad died. So like, I know death very well, you know, I don't lost parents, grandparents, everybody. Um, so when stuff like this happened, I feel for the people that lost their life and I feel for the people around them. And when I see people online, just speaking from an uneducated standpoint, speaking out of raw emotion, which I understand some people are really hurt and really tired of seeing this happening. But when we speak, and when we put content out to the world, to the internet to see, when we make posts and we voice our opinion, ask yourself, is this going to help the next person mindset? Is this going to impact and penetrate their way of thinking? Is this going to mean something a year from now, right? I understand on a day to day, we might clown have fun on social media, but on situations where we, we are voicing our opinions on somebody else demise. Don't forget he got a child. I don't know how many kids he got. He got a kid for sure. He has family, friends, people that really love him. So when we get online and we speak on situations that have nothing to do with us in all reality is none of our fucking business. What happened to PNB rock? who was involved, who wasn't involved. It's really none of our business. 
But when we take it upon ourselves to make it our business, is it? It's important that we be sure our intention is pure and impactful towards the direction of change. Not necessarily saying it's going to be the change, but it's towards the direction of change. And it's it's not to stir up controversy. It's not to ignite the situation and make it more saddening, disturbing, or confusing than it is to begin with. So when y'all get on here, y'all saying, oh, the BM has something to do with it, the baby mama, because she posted the location. He should have known better. He's this, he's that. And like I said, all these arguments and these statements, y'all can y'all can validate them in y'all own right. But what is that doing for the situation? You're not a detective on the case. You're not his close relative. You clearly wasn't a witness there to see anything. Most of us don't know this man personally, nor the mother of his child, nor the people who committed this crime. So sit and think, ask yourself, like, what is it going to do for people? So. My personal opinion is this, man. You have people around who care about you, who love you. Embrace it. I know you have days where you feel like the world is against you, you're unhappy. But just look around you, man. The fact that I can get on here and create a video, I can speak, I can listen, I can see, I have my hands, I have a brain to think. The fact that you have a cell phone, whether you're on your Wi Fi, whether you're on, on your data, you know, uh, 650, what's the deal? That somebody could have seen him get out the car and made a move or somebody from the side. Anything, anything. For sure, like anything could have happened. And like, it's just like, we don't know, man. And I, what's bothering me is I'm seeing people like from LA just, I want people to sit and think, right? If this was your family member, what wouldn't you want people going online saying about the situation and move accordingly to that? If, if unfortunate, if this was an unfortunate situation for me and somebody I knew personally, I would want people just sending love and condolences and, and just speaking positivity. I wouldn't want nobody on here playing no blame game. I wouldn't want nobody on here damn blaming my relative for losing their life. Even if, it could have been prevented, right? Because of course you have to move strategically. Like there's no doubt about that. You know, it's unfortunate. Again, it's sad. Niggas got to move that way. It's sad. We have to be careful to that extent to where we can't just pick a place to go eat in any state. It don't, give a, if it don't, it don't matter if we're not from that city, if we're from that state. It's supposed to be the land of the free. Like we are human beings. We don't have the freedom to go and do what we, what we want to do. We, we do have it, but according to street law, and street justice and politics like we don't because niggas is ignorant as fuck like period that's all they have to do go to the la niggas is pitiful on god like it, it's it's i don't I mean I, I can't say i don't get it because i grew up in this shit but it's like it's just stupid the shit don't make no sense and then like I, the ignorant shit i'm just saying online man like even you go through the comment section, the people just saying shit just to get a lot of likes and just to look cool or to go viral or just to, 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 what, what's the word? Project, project their misery, their negativity, their unhappiness and, and all that onto the situation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because when P, like, let me, and let me say this, when PNB Rock was fucking, dropping videos and music and, you know, alive and making an impact on people with good music. This nigga make good music. Most of these people had nothing to say. They wouldn't, they, you get what I'm saying? They wouldn't own here. Goddamn speaking on him or sharing his music or, um, saying how great of an artist he was or nothing like that. You know, they had nothing to say about this man, but this unfortunate tragic situation happened and they have everything in the world to say 
they the, the detective they 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 know who did it they know how he could have prevented it from happening they people are calling him like it's just the shit i'm seeing it's like i don't know man this is how i feel about shit like and um next week ain't nobody gonna give a fuck you know what i'm saying people go move on continue to live their lives as we should right but it's like again when we put shit onto the internet and this is something i'm learning i ain't mastered this because you know i'll be posting crazy shit i ain't gonna lie i'll be posting like five videos sometimes but me my method is putting the medicine in the candy like i could post some shit about stocks i could post some positive zero likes but let me post some ignorant funny retarded negative shit that should have damn near go viral and it's like i understand how social media work and how most people minds work so i just work on trying to put the medicine in the candy but most people don't have again good intentions for the things they put out onto the internet you know and uh I wonder why your comments is doubling. I see double on oh my shit. Your comments doubling up. But most people don't have nothing positive to say. You know, pe most people don't probably feel they can make an impact. I know for a fact I can make an impact on people, even if it's just momentarily, because I've, I've they've told me. If you go to my YouTube comments, my reaction channel, people told me that, um, you know, I've made an impact on them, you know. I, 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 I made their day better or they glad they found my channel. They glad that, you know, I speak on the things I speak on. Like I'm, I'm a refreshing YouTube, whatever they say, the positive things. So I know for a fact that I'm capable of impacting people, not everybody, but some people. And a lot of us don't understand that's the fulfillment and a purpose we all need to have. Even if it's not through social media, even if it's just on your day to day, you seeing people, you saying hi, right? You, you just saying simple shit like thank you or you're welcome or have a good day. Like just that small shit matters a whole lot. I think we missed that. You know, I wish like people would have so much to say about other things that happen. Like you have, you will have some hit the news, like a 13 year old would fucking make it to college, graduate college and nobody will talk about it. Most of these blog sites, some of them will though. Some like shade room, they might post it. You know, say cheese, they might post some of them things, but they're not inclined to post it as often because people are not going to engage with the content. They got to make money. I'll be feeling the same way on my YouTube channel. I'm, I'm a hip hop. I I love rap music and R&B, but I'm over there reacting to K-pop music. Do I like it? Yeah. But is it my first choice of music? No. Am I listening to that when I'm not on YouTube? No. But I'm getting half a million views on them videos. 30,000 views, 10,000 views. And I will post a rap reaction or something like that in 30 views, 100 views, no comments, no like. So it's like, I got a purpose too. You know, I, I want to reach more people. So, you know, that's just how shit work, man. But RIP to PNB Rock. Uh, it's another, another senseless crime, right? But again, shit ain't gonna stop to the mindset change. And the mindset will never change with everyone, but it's like, I don't know, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't think I ever will get it. It will never make sense to me. The fact that I grew up around that shit, you know, like I said, I chose a different path and, um, seeing homies like join gangs and lose their life and end up in and out of jail. And I just knew that wasn't for me. You know, I knew that wasn't for me when I was a kid. And again, it's your mindset. I could have had a different mindset. I could have found that shit appealing and cool and wanted to fit in. But you have to be your own person. You have to know self-worth, you know, your value and how valuable your life is. And the fact that you might not have no money, you might not have no family, you might not whatever, nigga. But you are you here for a purpose, whether you know it or not, you're here for a purpose. And the only way to find that purpose is to go through life and experience shit. And that's the only way you go figure out what you meant to do. I'm 33 years old. And I just, YouTube might not be for me, you know, though it's working for me. This, it might not be for me. I might be 35 doing something totally different. Content creation might not be for me. You know, I used to do music and rap and photography. I used to do a lot of shit. You know, who knows? Music might be for me. Videography might be for me. 
goddamn I don't know. We don't know. We just got to go through things and try things and understand that it's okay to change your mind. It's okay to wake up and want to do something different. It's okay to, to, to change courses. Like don't think you quitting on yourself or situations because you lost interest or you feel like it's taking too long. Like try different shit, you know? And uh, I don't know, man, but I just want to get live, go live. Cause I was live earlier on my phone and that shit, um, it was tripping. But yeah, man, I do a little, I got a little video on YouTube about this and I don't know, it's just mindset, man. We just got to have, have to create and, and inject and push a different narrative out to the world to help change the mindset of as many people as we can. So less of this could happen. This shit is not going to ever stop. You know, I'm not going to see it in, not in my time, not my lifetime, maybe the next five, five, six hundred years or something. But while I'm here alive, I know for a fact it ain't going to stop. It ain't going to change, man. Shit. If Tupac can change shit, you know, he became a part of the problem. If you ask me, you know, um, even though he was a great artist, you know, a great leader, a great teacher, a great speaker, he became a part of his environment. He became a part of the same thing he wanted to fix and correct. And he lost his life to that shit, you know, and then biggie was next you know out here in la which i said like shit niggas rappers been out of town rappers been getting killed in la since biggie and i wasn't i was what eight years old biggie i killed with 97 something like that so this shit been going on for decades you know But yeah, man, a lot of people heard over the past in PNB Rock, everybody passing blame to everyone but the nigga who actually killed him. The reason why he got killed is because some bum ass nigga decided to rob him and take his life. Everything else is extra. Academics hit that shit on the nose and mindset, man. Whoever did this, their mindset is fucked up. To take something from somebody, you don't have the power to give back. Saying nigga would just took his chains and politics got involved. Whack 100 came through and you know put some shit together PNB could have got his jury back right he probably would have had to pay some money but he took his life he can't get that man his life back he can't tell pen he can't give PNB rocks child their father back if he got siblings he he can't give them people their brother back he can't give that mom his son back like he's gone he's done for shit wicked out here man be yeah, man that's it man i'm gonna catch y'all on the next uh stream or whatever man yeah